Oh, wow. Wolverhampton Wanderers won, Manchester City won. Probably one of the best performances, one of the best games I've ever seen at Molyneux, one of the best atmospheres. And it was just such a shame that we couldn't see the result out in the end and get that win. We scored slightly too early, I think, but against against one of the best teams in Europe without question and against one of the best teams in the Premier League and the, and the, the Premier League has ever seen I'd say better than the Invincibles and the quality that they've got on the pitch the the quality of the manager and the quality of their, and strength of their bench we came away with a point and a really well deserved point you can argue that we had chances to win it but of course Manchester City had a number of high quality chances and times where we were last ditch tackling and blocks on the line and great saves from Patricio it's given us a real boost of confidence now as fans and I'm sure for the players as well it's taken them up another level as well because now against teams like West Ham in the coming weeks and Burnley we should take that the way that we played and impose it on the opposition like we've had like Nuno's been saying for months and months and months he said we're not going to change and even after losing against Leicester last week didn't make a change to the team that was a bit of a surprise for me I thought perhaps Costa would come out but Costa was superb today so powerful he should have scored just before we did actually score one on one with the goalkeeper but he was back to what looked like his best as well Jota looked improved on last week he's still got some way to go I think in the Premier League but he's a hell of a player Neves and Moutinho in the middle completely matched Fernandinho and Gundogan for the whole game I thought there were small areas where I thought oh god we're going to concede a goal here but when you've got players like Sane and Aguero and Jesus and, and Sterling running at players like Ryan Bennett and Connor Cody and Willy Bolly it just was looking like oh no we're going to make a mistake here in the penalty area but we didn't and it was so good and Rui Patricio made two world class saves and, and made one collection of the ball which I think perhaps might get overlooked in things like match of the day but was really really composed and just showed what a class goalkeeper he was the ball was miles up in the air and he just calmly amongst three or four Manchester City players took the ball down and eased a lot of pressure and to to be watching this Wolves team now, you can only think that this is the beginning. I was looking at some of the players today thinking, Matt Doherty's been with us since League One. And then you think about the team that Man City won the league with and Vincent Company who's been there for 10 years before the t takeover and things like that. We're at the start of the journey that is going to see us go on to be a top team. And we completely stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the best teams in Europe and matched them in every area of the pitch today. And we were unlucky to not come away with a win. I think if the slight bounce of the ball went a different way or there's arguments about whether the free kick for Manchester City should have been given, but I think our goal also was probably suspect possible handball. I haven't seen it again yet. By the time that you've watched this video, you can tell me that I'm wrong and it was definitely handball. But aside from that, Wolves looked comfortable. They looked like a Premier League team. We've had three games now, two points from those three games, unbeaten at home as well. The record that we've got at home now is incredible. So we've only lost two games under Nuno at home. That's including the cup games and including uh, friendlies as well. And now Manchester City and Everton who've come to Molyneux and not been able to win. Teams are going to find it difficult to play against us. And we really, really need to capitalise that. And when teams come in the next few months that are weaker than us, arguably on paper, like Burnley, Southampton coming up soon... We've got to pick up three points in those games. And it's given me a lot of confidence today. And I think I've waffled on quite a lot and not really talked about the game <laughs> as a spectacle. But it was just one of those games that you get once every two or three years at, at the Wolves where you think, do you know what? We Something could happen here. We could, if things go right for us in the next two or three years, we could be competing with Manchester City. We, we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. I think they were probably the better team on the day. They had the better chances. They've got the, by far the better players. But we managed to keep Aguero quiet. I don't think he had a shot on target. We kept Sterling relatively quiet. What, it was just amazing to watch these high-class, world-class players and how they play. Like Sterling's first thought whenever he gets the ball is to get into the box because he knows that against Bennett and against Cody, he's faster than them and he can trip over their legs and get a penalty. It was... And David Silva as well, such a world class player. But he was kept he was controlled by Neves and by Moutinho and by Doherty, who had a much, much better game as well today. Johnny Otto is 
a far better player than Barry Douglas as well. I know we've talked a lot over the last couple of months about losing Barry Douglas to Leeds, but on the pitch in open play, Johnny is ten times the player Barry Douglas is. The way he reads the play, the way he intercepts the balls from the, you know, can you imagine Bernardo Silva against Barry Douglas? There'd have only been one winner there, but. He, Johnny controlled Bernardo Silva for long periods of the game today and I thought we deserved more than a point but I'm very very happy with the point and really really looking forward now to the game against West Ham and hopefully we can have that bit of luck that was on our side today that wasn't on our side last week and we can get our first three points if we can go into the international break on five points that's incredible and really, really that we can start pushing up the table then but I think at the moment I'm happy with the two points from the first nine really happy with today's performance i think you've probably gathered that from today's video but i'm going to leave it there because i could go on perhaps i might make a little bit of a more composed video tomorrow about the game but i'm really happy really pleased with the performance really looking forward to the rest of the season now and i'm just unbelievable well done everybody involved <laughs> thank you very much for watching uh, if you've enjoyed drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check out some of the links in the description below and before I end just to say thank what an amazing uh, sight it was before the game to see Carla Kimi there and I think that really inspired the team to, to do something today so that was really really good and also apologies to the people uh, who sit two rows behind me for standing up just before <laughs> and <laughs> spoiling their view of the disallowed goal which I haven't even mentioned I haven't even mentioned <laughs> anyway thank you very much for watching uh, see you soon bye bye oh!